I bought a 10 foot Ascent H10 hybrid kayak and only reason why I got this kayak is because I wanted to photograph. I'm not a big uh, kayaker. Uh, I had ocean kayak, two of them previously, but I sold them because I thought it was just too much work. Anyhow, uh, I've decided to uh, install a lithium ion a battery powered uh, Torquedo uh, electric uh, trolling motor at the back so that I could uh, get to where I want to photograph faster and spend my time um, enjoying uh, birding and photographing and that I made it so that uh, my hands would be free I'm not paddling but uh, using the motor to propel and to steer with a, a foot control. So that's the reason why I got Ascend H10. Also Ascend um, is not a fast uh, kayak but more designed for stability and um, ease of entry and exit. Tokido 403A comes with a complete kit of mounting bracket, uh, the speed control pod, forward reverse, infinite variable speed, um, also the one horsepower motor, and also the lithium ion battery. All these are fully waterproofed, um, and they're a really nice unit. Uh, if it's not lithium ion, uh, the total weight of the whole thing would be 50 to 60 pounds, but this particular unit is only 15 pounds total. This is uh, my Ascend H10 uh, hybrid kayak, and I'm trying to install Torquedo 403A mount. That's the, probably the most difficult part of it, and there isn't any other video that tells you how to do that. So first thing what I did is I removed the um, a foam core on the backside of the kayak, and that was pretty easy. I uh, just have to reach in manually and, and uh, remove the um, uh, adhesive that's uh, on the backside. So I already did that. So you can see the mark of the uh, adhesive in the back. And the reason why they put that form core is to give flotation or buoyancy. So um, I will be putting uh, it back. First thing I did was to uh, remove the handle on the back side here. Just have to unscrew it and save those screws. So here's the uh, mounting bracket. Um, and as, as you can see, my... Uh, kayak doesn't have a exact flat surface so first thing I did and I purchased 7 8 diameter and 12 inch um, high density poly polyethylene um, I bought it and I cut it um, and it's really easy to cut uh, either using some sort of a saw or a um, PVC pipe cutter that would uh, do a good job and what I did is I put these, um, uh, I call it polypropylene, a spacer in front and back. Uh, they're actually four bolts. And I had to buy a longer um, bolts on the back or the middle here. So I did that. And what I did underneath is I put a lot of washers. Uh, to make sure that there is uh, enough grip and there would be less stress to the uh, plastic. If there is a um, uh, problem of uh, getting a good so-called um, seating or whatever, then you could use a stainless steel uh, washer to act as a spacer. Really, that's the uh, most difficult part of the whole thing. Okay, the motor is finally installed. 
Let's suppose a motor hits the ground. What it does is that it lifts it up. Yeah, this motor could be removed quickly uh, when you're traveling or any other reasons. Uh, you could just unlatch this and you could uh, remove the whole thing real quickly in a few seconds. I put the foam insert right back in. Okay, this is the uh, lithium ion Torquedo um, battery that's watertight. Uh, and only all you have to do that this is a charging port and they give you a charging unit. One that you leave at home and another one you could charge it uh, using your car. This one is where this unit connects to the motor and this last one is connected to the the control unit the battery sits very snug at the very back and don't have to put any kind of um, cords or anything like that to secure it just happens that the um, ascent h10 uh, has little place to make it secure Last thing I have to do is to connect the cables from this uh, bar so that uh, you could use the um, kayak steering mechanism to steer. Here's the a foot steering unit, which I'm going to be attaching cable as soon as the cable shows up. And uh, it, the cable is going to be wired to that uh, steering unit. This, uh, uh, this is a steering control unit. If you move that stick forward, it moves forward and neutral position and reverse it. That unit is um, uh, has GPS built into it to track where you've been and uh, also um, determine the speed. And if you follow this uh, cable back to the um, lithium ion battery, if you connect that, it will uh, communicate with one another. There's also a cord which you could retract this and then um, retract the motor. So you don't have to necessarily take the whole motor out. But I prefer to uh, take the motor out because as you're unloading from the um, car, uh, sometimes you drop the kayak and it could damage the propeller and motor so anyway this cord is helpful during the installation i installed the foot steering control unit cable also if you pull the um, uh, that string i believe the um, motor shuts off automatically so there's a dual feature okay Let's power it up. Okay. To go forward. It's noisy because it's, there's no water. But if I take the magnet off, it shuts off. If you want to reverse, Okay, I'm all done. Well, one of the devices that you, you need is, um, um, I don't know what you call this, but a wheel so that you could transport uh, the kayak from your car to the launching point. One of the most challenging aspects of uh, kayaking is the loading and unloading uh, from your car and especially if you have SUV with a tall roof line uh, It's very difficult. So I put this system in so that it would be easy to load and unload I press right foot goes to the right I press left foot goes to the left This is tobacco lake Okay, there's the motor running. The top number tells me that I have a 
96% uh, battery left in 30 kilometers. I do have a paddle, I'm not that lazy. So, here's my camera, bazooka, and my bag, and it has a cover to prevent any kind of splashing, but it's not really meant for waterproofing because um, if you flip over, you're done. So anyway, I think I am pretty happy so far. Everything's working fine. Oh, here's my first shot from my kayak. <laughs>